Hallelujah and praise the Lord. Well, good morning my beautiful brothers and sisters in Christ. It's your sister Genevieve here. And I'm coming on here today, this beautiful uh, Tuesday morning. It is the 22nd of October 2019. And I just want to get straight to it. In this video, I'm going to be praying um, against the spirit of addiction. I've had a, a request from a precious sister in Christ, Sister Linda. And she has asked me to lift up her and her family in prayer. And, uh, and I know that many others are struggling with this, um, this smoking addiction. You might be addicted to cigarettes. You might be addicted to alcohol. You might be addicted to drugs. Maybe you're trying to break the spirit of addiction. Maybe you're trying to break the habit. You might be addicted to pornography, whatever it is. Okay, There is a spirit of addiction. Okay, um, And... Um, and there is power in prayer, and um, praise God that I have the opportunity to to lift you up in prayer today, and um, and and let's let's just believe God for His um, for Him to move. Um, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. If you're trying to quit smoking or, or break the habit of addiction in your own strength, you will fail. Um, but you know, greater is He that is in us than He that is in the world. God is the only one that can really give you the strength to to let go of that habit, and there is pr uh, there is power in prayer, brothers and sisters. So praise God, yes. So so I'm just uh, so this is a request from precious sister Linda and her daughter sister Chrissy, and um, and for everyone else who is wanting a prayer to break the habit of smoking. Um, so. Um, yeah, we just give it to the Lord. And before I do this video, let me just plead the blood of Jesus. Lord, I plead the precious blood of Jesus over this message. I plead the precious blood of Jesus over this video, over this recording, over this device in Jesus' mighty name. I destroy the works of the enemy right now in the name of Jesus. And I rebuke, bind and cast out any unclean spirit that will come against um, that will attempt uh, to hinder this video or this message in any way in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Um, your will be done, Father God, and I just thank you for who you are and what you're doing in each and every one of our lives. I plead the precious blood of Jesus over all my brothers and sisters in Christ, and I pray for your intervention in Jesus' name. So now before I I pray, I just want to just wanted to share a couple of things. Um, most importantly, um, I've just got some scriptures that I want to encourage you, um, yeah, to uh, to meditate on. You know, um, if you're trying to quit your, if you if you're trying to break the habit of addiction or the, the addiction of smoking, cigarettes, alcohol, drugs, whatever it is you're struggling with, brothers and sisters, um, meditating upon God's word is so important. Hallelujah! And there's so many beautiful encouraging scriptures that will strengthen you when you meditate upon these scriptures that I'm going to give you, when you meditate upon these scriptures daily, um, you know, and just read them out, read them out loud, even if it's three times a day or as often as you can, read them out loud. And also, don't forget to spend time in God's presence, lifting up your request to Him, asking Him to help you, to guide you, to lead you, and He, and he will help you. It's so important for us to meditate upon the Word of God and to spend time in God's presence. They're the two most important things. Hallelujah. So um, let me just give you some scriptures. And I want to encourage you to you know, re uh, record these scriptures. Um, these, all these scriptures that I'm giving you will help you. Um, and uh, just memorize, you know, say, even if you have to memorize these scriptures. But the first scripture I want to give you is Philippians 4.13. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And when you say the scripture, even say, Lord Jesus, I can, quit, uh, I can quit smoking, Lord, with your strength. Thank you, Jesus, that you have given me the strength to quit smoking. So speak it out of your mouth as if you already see it happening, you know. Um, believe it as you speak it that it is already done and it will be done, brothers and sisters. So for each scripture that, that you declare out of your mouth, out loud, you know, just... Um, yeah, just speak it out that, you know, whatever the problem of addiction you're facing, speak it out and say, Lord, you know, I can, you know, I can do all things through Christ. Um, I, I can, I can quit smoking or I can quit drinking or I can quit. Oh. I'll say it again. The devil is mad. <laughs> the devil is mad. 
Um, he does not want this video to come out, brothers and sisters, um, because even before doing this video, I had interruption after interruption after interruption, but thank God that he gives us discernment. I even even had a phone call um, from someone, and the Lord told me not to answer it, because it was just the enemy trying to distract me from getting this video out. Devil is a loser, a liar, a deceiver, and a manipulator. But he's already lost the battle, and he will continue to lose. Praise Jesus. So, so yes, so let me just thank you, Lord, that my phone will not fall over in Jesus' name. Ikale Karabasento. Thank you, Father God. <laughs> All right, so there's one scripture there, Philippians 4.13. Meditate upon that scripture daily. Um, hallelujah. Um, another thing is, you know, the Bible says that we have been given direct access to approach the throne of grace. doesn't matter what your situation is. Um, God has given you access to approach his throne of grace, to come into his presence at any time and to ask him to strengthen you, to ask him to help you, to ask him, you know, whatever it is you need. Come into his presence. You know, don't be fearful of his presence. Come into his presence and just, you know, lift up your requests to him. Praise the Lord. 2 Corinthians 12, 9 says, God has declared that his grace is sufficient. Where we are weak, he is strong. So meditate upon 2 Corinthians 12, 9. Also, John 8, 32. Then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. John 8, 36. So if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. 1 Corinthians 6, 19 to 20. Do you not know that your bodies are temples for the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. Hallelujah. And then I want to give you Ephesians 4.22. You were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self, which is corrupted by its deceitful desires. And then John 15 verse 5. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Matthew 19, verse 26. With man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And um, Romans 13, 4. Clothe yourselves with the Lord Jesus Christ. And do, and do not think about how to, gratis, how, how to gratify the desires of the flesh. Hallelujah. And another, the last scripture I want to give you, even though there's so many more, brothers and sisters, um, but these are just a few, just to, just to get you going, for you to meditate upon daily, um, to help you, you know, in quitting your habit. Hebrews 12, verse 1 to 2 says, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. And let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. Glory to God. So there's, all, there's a few scriptures that I want you to meditate upon. I encourage you. They will bless you. Um, those scriptures will bless you and will strengthen you. And um, hallelujah. And I just want to encourage you, you know, Jesus Christ is the light of the work. Whoever walks in Jesus will never walk in darkness, for he is the light of the world. So don't rely on your own strength to to stop, you know, the, the habit or to break the habit. Um, come into God's presence and rely on God's supernatural strength and power. Hallelujah. The Bible says it is impossible to please God without any faith. Have faith that he will help you um, and uh, glory to God. You know, um, yeah, don't try in your own strength. You'll fail miserably. So now without further ado, I'm going to get straight into it. I'm going to start praying and, um, and I want to encourage you, just point your hands to the screen and the fire of God will come through the screen. You will feel the tangible presence in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, wonderful Jesus. We come into your presence right now and we give you all the glory and the honor and the praise. Father God, we just commit 
uh, this prayer request into your hands and we ask you for your intervention right now in Jesus' name. Father, I lift up each and every individual person who is struggling with the habit of smoking, uh, drinking, whether it's alcohol, whether it's drugs, addiction to drugs, addiction to alcohol, addiction to smoking cigarettes, addiction to pornography, whatever you are struggling with and you are trying to break that habit, Lord, I commit those people into your hands right now in Jesus' name. I bind the spirit of addiction right now in Jesus' name. Spirit of addiction, I rebuke you right now in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you and I destroy you now with the fire and the power of the Holy Ghost. I come against the evil spirit that causes the addiction of smoking cigarettes in Jesus' name. Hear the word of the Lord and scatter by fire. Spirit of addiction, I destroy you now with the fire and the power of the Holy Ghost. Go! Now, in Jesus' name, la maleo kosia nama, jerma kesi kar maleondo, urma laya kala maleko robo sika, for whom the sun sets free is free indeed. Hikaya la ba kesi kar maleko robo si, jerma maleo kosia na maleo kerebesi ande, hikala na na masi hia na 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 maleondo, re eshe kete kereberi ande la ba sikiri ande. That evil, dirty spirit of addiction that is keeping your people in bondage. I command you now, hear the word of the Lord. Go back to the pit where you belong now in the mighty name of Jesus. For this body I'm praying for belongs to Jesus. This body I'm praying for is a temple for the Holy Spirit. So devil, I evict you right now in Jesus' name. I bind you, I cast you out right now in the name of Jesus. Go, go, go. Go, Kuria la Baba Baba Shante, Ja Katamale Korobosi, Ikaita Male Koriana Male Koria la Masse, Jihir Macassiande, Jekihiana Male Korobo, Jana Marecos Hiana Macassiande, Jekere Merekesi Caramare Korobosiande, Ikaya Talamale Koria la Basica. Lord, I even lift up Sister Linda and Chrissy and every member of their family who is struggling with the spirit of, uh, with the addiction of smoking, and I break that spirit now in Jesus' name. And Lord, I lift up every other person, Father God, every other person who's watching this video, Father God, who is struggling with addiction, Father God, I ask you right now, Father God, thank you that you are the chain breaker. So I ask you right that you will break every chain the enemy has placed over their life. I rebuke the spirit of smoking. I remove the curse of smoking right now in Jesus' name. Be broken, be broken, be broken. Fire of God, fire of God, fire of God, fire of God. There it comes, there it comes, there it comes. Put your hands to the screen. That's a fire of God you're feeling go through you right now. Chains are breaking right now in Jesus' name. Evil arrows of addiction. Hear the word of the Lord and scatter by fire. I rebuke the devourer and I destroy the destroyer right now. In Jesus' name. Every unclean spirit operating in the body of this one I'm praying for. I command you right now. Go back to the pit where you belong. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your time is up, devil. Your time is up. Get your hands off the people of God right now in Jesus' name. I break you. I nullify you. And I render you powerless and useless in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You have no hold over the people of God, devil. You're a defeat. You have been defeated at the cross of Calvary. When our Savior was crucified on the cross, you were defeated and you have been placed under our feet. Thank you, Jesus. Your will be done. More of your fire. There's more, 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 more of your fire, Lord. More of your fire. 
Let the fire and the power of the Holy Ghost consume every unclean spirit operating in their bodies right now. In Jesus' name. Lord, I decree and I declare that when they start to put the cigarette in their mouth, Lord, there will be such a foul taste, Father God, that they will no longer be able to touch cigarettes again in Jesus' name. Lord, I decree and I declare that when they put the bottle of alcohol, Lord, to their mouths, I decree and I declare, Father God, that the alcohol will taste bitter, that they will no longer be able to drink anymore in Jesus' name. And even for those taking drugs, Father God, the drugs have become tasteless in Jesus' name. It is done, says the Spirit of the Lord. It is done. Receive the